have to never do it. Sorry, T Ferris, you not you you just. Oh, here we go, Gabby. You not you forgiving T Ferris. Well, I am forgiving T Ferris. Okay, you gotta forgive everybody. But <laughs> exactly. at the end of the day, I won't never forget because you know Whoa. what I'm saying. We was partners, and it wasn't no need for you to do that to me. You know what I'm saying. You didn't switch sides. At the end of the day, you left the boss chair to go be a runner. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't never seen nobody do that before. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Too, you know exactly, and that's, that's that's what I wanted to. Uh, and since I'm on that, just we, I, I guess we could stay right there. Like I seen, well, I, I want to say congratulations right, on thank you. congratulations ending. on what? Because that whole issue that's is over. Did it it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I saw. Because I wasn't gonna go in. I'm gonna go back in. I wasn't gonna go in. It's over. It's over. No, I know you're half feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. With the four year battle, you know, with that situation. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, we had to do that because, you know, for me, her, T. Ferris, when we all set out to do mm -hmm. this, we all still where we wanted to be. He's working for, he's being her little do boy, you know what I'm saying? And she's, you know, a big star and, you know, i am got the label going on. So why do we have to go through all that just to get to this point? We still right. got here, you know what I'm saying? But right. so at the end of the day, I just wish that, you know, we didn't have to go through all this just to get to the same point we all was trying to get to anyway. Did and she, we, like, I think she posted uh, that she was independent now or something. I think right. I seen that. Right. And she was pretty yeah, much. she's uh, independent now. So that's good. Like I said, we wish her the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, I never, always to this day, if you go watch my interviews, I always say me and Megan never had a problem mm -hmm. with each other. We bro, would you still talk? Do y'all, would y'all still talk on I'm, a good, I'm, like I'm, a friendship? I, this is the business. You got to continue to do business over here. You Man, know let me tell you Like, so. this is how it goes. Like, I learned so much now. Like, this is just how it goes. I don't feel bad for myself. This happens to people like me in the music business. Exactly. Every single day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you just. Go and get yours, and then you move on. You know, no, no hard feelings. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was a big Megan fan. I don't, I don't want you to get upset. I ain't when she come out in the nice little, you know, you know I get hey, out. Man. I'm married. Hey, I'm, man. I'm in the room. I'm trying to stay, keep my composure. She walked through. <laughs> Ow, you know, hey. and I'm looking like, dang, you know, it was a present. It was that a was big the whole thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Up. She's a lot more classier than sexy red them in this new thing we're dealing with. Oh, we, we got some new yeah. stuff we're dealing with now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, it's a whole yeah, different ball now. game yeah, now, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, man. Yeah. But when Megan was classy enough, you know, we thought that was bad. Yeah. We thought Cardi B, we thought uh, Nicki Minaj, I was like, dang, man, they looking, man, she got a, she got shots, don't she? You know, we all, you know, we on it like that. <laughs> but now... This new thing, they'll just jump out and give you some sex on Instagram and hey something man. go viral next thing you know. Hey man. You say, what happened? Hey man, they, yeah. they, it's wild. It's and crazy. my booty no. old brown. It's, it's, ratchet. You know it's, it's, it's ratchet city. <laughs> nah, man, it's ratchet. But how ratchet. you deal with that being a label that, because um, I've seen where you had like different events with all these young TikTokers and whatever, yeah. and a lot of them are doing crazy stuff. Yeah. And you're looking to sign someone maybe even like that. I just I just have to go with what the culture is going with. You know what I'm saying? It's some I can't be the person who's like policing and stuff like that. Cause one thing about this music stuff, like it's been like that since the fifties. Mm -hmm. It was always something that the parents didn't like. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And uh, you they they thought it was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just it just keeps going. It keeps growing. So it's, it's gonna continue to always do that. So um, I just go try to find the best or who I think fits uh, my my label or whatnot and. And, and, and roll with it, you know. Man, mm -hmm. I, anything, anything yeah. might go crazy now. Right, that's what I, I'm saying. I, you, you know, don't, you uh, don't know. I messed with it after I got off my cycle or anything. These hoes are crazy, nigga. Man, like, I, I remember. Ain't that. no telling what the hell the old gonna do oh, next. You remember what? Tony Dill. What these old? Tony Dill called me. These hoes is on fire. You know Tony Dill. Yeah. You know, he called uh, me. Tony Neal, he yeah. Tony Neal, he called me but I remember he first called me. He's like, Carl, man, you gotta go. You hear this girl? And you know. She said my, my my pussy pink and my booty hole brown, and I'm like yo bro like don't 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 tell me about no chick that you probably just trying to like you know help out or you might like or something, and um he was like nah man I'm serious and I was like man I was like Tony man whatever I even get in the club you know what I'm saying 
And next thing you know, I just hit the whole club. You thought he was playing? And I said, oh, shit. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. You know what I'm so saying? Because he told me about it way, way early, early on. on. He, you know, he on the radio on DJ, right. so he was telling me about it early on. Because you know, he always telling me about um, other artists. Other you know artists, yeah. Um, who trying to bring Do you something. wish that you had, like, said, okay, I'll, I'll listen to I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> know how I would have took it. You know, because I'm telling you, if he tell you when we had the conversation, you know, I was just like, man. You come tripping. on, come on, Tony. You know what I'm saying? But I hear you out. You know what I'm saying? And for sure. Do you think her. you think you had an imprint in in like the way you supported all the women? You know, you you supported a lot of that was your main uh, thing. The women from Erica to Megan the Stallion to a couple of the other artists that I seen, you really pressed forward on you knew that the women was a niche. Right. You knew that that was a place where you know that the industry was going, and now it's really you know you see yeah, it. Yeah, the, yeah. I saw the wave early, you know, uh, with uh, with Cardi B early on, even before she, for Bodak Yellow came out, and really? she was just putting her little projects out, and I was like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, something's finna happen right here. I see, you know what I'm saying? It's like they they keep trying, and when she hit, you know what I'm saying? I knew I was doing the same thing, so I wasn't gonna be. I knew it was gonna be long before. Before we came with Megan and then so I, was, I see that go, I see Bo Yag, uh, Bo that yellow go. Oh, bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms. These then I see Megan and Stallion coming. Never let a broke nigga sex me, never. Never let no hoe test me, never. Never been scared of the money, never. Never let them take nothing from me. I'm like, okay, well, this is a wave, you know. So when they was telling me when the stuff happened with Megan, it was like, oh, um, uh, don't look for another girl. I'm like, shh, you crazy. I'm about to go. Find another one now, and that's you know, Erica Banks come. You see, white with a body on me. God damn, I'm popping, I'm hot. I'm with thick bands and a motherfucker pants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, I, yeah, so, I gotta <laughs> ask you about this, man. I'm, I'm so you were always looking for a girl. You're, I, I, no, I, I was, was looking for one, but I knew in that moment that I could I could keep coming with a certain type right. of girl, and uh, you know, it, it was a good chance it was gonna work. Let me let me because when you think about like like uh, the women that was articulating the styles, right. Meg Megan got a great flow. Right. She really can rap, bro. Mm -hmm. Like and then you, Nicki Minaj really can rap. Right. Like that ain't five year foreign. That's Barbie new foreign. Bees now that ain't Reebok. We back when that e rock. She, she gonna go well, in. Nicki Minaj the best. You know That's I mean? out of all of them. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with right. you. She is. She articulates uh, better than all of them when it comes to rap. Okay. Yo, watch your man. Then you should watch your mouth. Bitches is pressed. But Megan the Stallion ain't far behind. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Right. She the first female. You actually birth helped birth the first female rap artist out of Texas, man. Right. No, so kudos sorry. to you for doing hey, that. Appreciate you, man. Ain't nobody else done that. You yeah. can't never take that away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't take it away as much as they want to try to defame me in that whole process. You know what I'm saying? You will never do it. Sorry, T. Ferris, you not you. you just oh, here we go. Have you not you forgiven T. Ferris? Well, I have forgiven T. Ferris. Okay, you gotta forgive everybody. But <laughs> exactly. at the end of the day, I won't never forget because you know Whoa. what I'm saying. We was partners, and it wasn't no need for you to do that to me. You know what I'm saying. You didn't switch sides. At the end of the day, you left the boss chair to go be a runner. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't never seen nobody do that before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we literally left millions on the table to go run behind this girl that me and you were supposed to have been doing this. The whole time, you know what I'm saying. So, at the end of the day, kudos to y'all, and I hope, I hope, you know, I hope you happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at yeah. the end of the day, uh, you know, you let you, you dropped you bought, you dropped a bunch of millions chasing after you know running behind somebody. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.